T-minus 25 seconds. We are still go with Apollo 11. On July the 20th, 1969, the world was about to witness the greatest feat in scientific history. This is the incredible true story of what we didn't see. Parks Australia had the only dish on Earth capable of broadcasting the moonwalk. Huh? The moonwalk? Oh, what's it doing in the middle of a sheep paddock? Never had a mission of this importance fallen to a more unlikely group of local officials and engineers. With a few short hours to landing, we feel confident that we have the expertise to complete our role. The world riveted to their TVs and immortality within their grasp. You'll be able to hear Armstrong talking to Houston just by hitting a couple of buttons there. The unthinkable happened. What's that? Without power. Control panel's dead. Sorry, folks. Hey, thanks, uh, Jeffy. Without a signal. Let me get this straight. You've lost Apollo a lot. Without a clue. Some sweat of the moon. They did what many a seasoned broadcaster might have done. Oh, I'll just have to... Re reorient the uh how's it going they lied Good. pulling the wool over nasa's eyes to guts Maisie, can you keep a secret <laughs> pulling it out of the ship dip was an international triumph ladies and gentlemen distinguished guests the national anthem of the united states of america Working Dog presents, in association with Distant Horizon, one of the most popular films in Australian history, internationally acclaimed at the Toronto Film Festival. Roger Ebert has called it dish an inspired human comedy. Associated Press says, enormously entertaining, a warm, rich comic film. The New York Post calls it a wonderful comedy. That's one small step for man. Oh, who goes there? One giant leap for mankind. The Dish.